Hello and welcome to Funkybox Gaming. I am back on Tacoma today and in the last episode oh, there was a bit of an accident with the remaining crew. Um, basically Nat and Roberta were trying to start with the drone and something exploded. Um, Roberta had to be resuscitated uh, but she seemed very banged up when we left them. Um, and that wasn't much better off to be fair and then Sarah started to investigate um, Venturis I'm assuming this is going to be Sarah now I am here Odin, is this it? That is the location I mentioned You're there? Uh, you're gonna need a crowbar or something No, it's, it's open It's just hanging open What? I must inform you that Venturis regulations forbid contracting crew members direct access to AI hardware. But I cannot prevent you from proceeding. Matt, I'm Ooh, going Odin, in. you tease. Okay, um, just be careful. Well, before I go in there... Caution air conditioning in progress. different AI that are on this is Lito on the Dubai financial predictive fund Kiribati city state Juno Italian HQ Mawu Johannesburg R&D Zie Singaporean HQ Heka or Hika Fountain of Paradise Med Medical. That's the one that Sarah thinks went a bit haywire and gave her the wrong advice. Loki. Don't think I'd want an AI called Loki. Um, Il Ridito Orbital Casino. That'd be why it's called Loki. Odin, Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. And Cave, Zenith Lunar Resort. Wizard Marcus. Hey there, um... Ooh. She's got stuff on her screen. Message with Odin. Ha! Sure, let's start there. I'm an Obsidian Class AI branch in conscious operation for, for 180 years. Fully capable of organic level independent thought and reasoning. Now continue with detailed technical specifications. Okay, mate, listen. <laughs> What's your caprice score for independence? 4.68. Alright, we're going to work and get that number up, you and me. It's been a whirlwind couple of days of onboarding and loading out, and I know most of us are still adjusting to life in orbit, but I just wanted to say how excited I am to be working with all of you and Odin in our... A little background on myself, I come from an aerospace manufacturing family, one of my sisters' his first jobs at the factory back in Tacoma, the one on Earth. He was helping build pieces of this very station we're floating slash walking around in right now. I'm the first of my family to actually leave Earth and work on one of these facilities, and I've been hmm, really looking forward to getting to know you all over the coming year. Hmm. Or need to pass anything along to Venturius Brass, just let me know. Here's to a successful posting. Offstation mission with Chloe Dog. Uh, very austere. I mean, Corporate modern chic, what do you expect? And how is your new best friend? What's his name again? Odin. His name. And, I mean, he's fine so far for an AI. 
kind of a cool fish, but I'm working on him. They're trying to get one up, up here on Tangiers, you know. It's all the a a a AILF talks about. I'll believe that when I see it. That one's busted. I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. Hello. I am Odin. I look forward to working together. <laughs> Same here, mate. Oh, that... Upon Odin cognitive trajectory. This month, Odin has been making small but steady gains in efficiency. As per company directives, I've additionally been putting some of my own time into increasing his caprice ratings in creativity and permanence, which you'll find I've projected to have much more significant overall gains in productivity in the long term. Which you should know if you read the report I submitted as of six months ago which I still haven't received a response to. In fact, you know what? I've never got a message of, of response on any of these. I know the system will give me an automatic demerit if I don't turn one in every month, but are human eyes even on these things? Let's find out. Hey, fuck you guys. Also, Odin's gone crazy and he's massacring the crew. The station's full of mutants. Help. Sincerely, Natalie. Hey Sarah, you're going to want to see this. I asked Odin to search up some stuff in the Ventura's technician records, DB based on what you're asking about. Standard automated battery of judgment tests, FOP Med AI Hecker, has returned declining judgment scores last four weeks. Hmm. This week's especially low, still technically within acceptable range as of 8.3 test results but staff reports personality shift seeming distant have we had an AI condition it up lately can we elevate an AI assessment squad ASAP Singapore HQ response AI execman account you're on your final support ticket allotment for quarter 7962. This is how you want to use it. No, that's fine. Please close. We'll reopen if results enter critical range. So I can't remember the date of when Sarah uh, had that issue but I assume it was around here and then they fixed it Kind of here somewhere.
and Rubik's Cubes. Look at these. Oh, cigarettes. Efficiency stayed fairly steady, but everything else gradually increased, apart from huh, compliance, which went down. Funny that. But creativity went up, independence went up quite a lot. I did abstraction. Yeah, everything increased, even if a little bit, apart from compliance. She crightened it. She got it to call a banana an orange. Matt, I'm going in. Okay, I'm um, just be careful. Oh, I didn't get Hmm. Is there a cat around here somewhere? It's supposed to be a cat. There's the cat. That's not creepy at all. Captured 14 hours ago. In your hands. Uh. Is this. What is all this? Communication records? I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. Roll recording to come a disaster statement not to release before the 29th of February 2088. What day are we on now? recording. <clears throat> it is with great sadness that I address you today, February 29th, 2088. Mere hours ago, six loyal men and women, the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma, lost their lives serving Venturas, <laughs> and all of us who rely on the orbital economy. Tragically, due to human error on the part of the crew, Venturus rescue technicians were not made aware of the catastrophic oxygen loss until it was too late. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with their families. If only tragedies like this were avoidable. But in truth, they are. As we know, each minute that human workers spend stationed isolated in orbit is another opportunity for heroes like the crew of Tacoma to lose their lives. We at Venturus say no more. The partisan obstructionism that led to the failure of the Orbital Worker Safety Bill has claimed its last victim. Today, we hereby renew our solemn pledge to fight for the legalization of fully automated orbital facilities. We encourage, we humbly beg everyone listening to this message to contact their OSEP representative and voice their support in honor of the crew of Tacoma. There never need be another tragedy like this one. And now, 
a moment of silence in their memory. Okay, and then we just cut it there, silent for a minute, and then what, Amazing Grace? No, I don't need another take. That was fine. Hmm. So, <laughs> rather than trying to help them, they just recorded a message to say that they lost their lives. That's cold. New top tier air directors transmitted overrides all prior existing directives. AI shall explosively decompress all oxygen tanks. Oh, disable all external communication channels accessible by crew. Fabricate data showing that oxygen and comms outages were caused by meteor impacts. Ensure crew enters cryogenic stasis ASAP as per SOP. AI shall not contravene any aspect of the above directives. Provide crew with any information contradicting the above scenario. These are your orders effective immediately. Will this not endanger the lives of the Tacoma's crew? No. A rescue craft will be dispatched to retrieve them once they are in cryo. Proceed with the above directives without exception. We will be monitoring your actions via secure comms connection directly to Odin. Unit Cognitive Center. Oh, so they they made Odin do the damage to kill the crew so they could push forward their agenda. Ah, that's bad. Prepared specially for Sergio Venturi by Venturi's Corporate Strategic AI Juno. Following of the failure of the Venturio Pact Orbital Worker Safety Bill in OSEP Congress, there is no significant probability of the Human Oversight Accord being repealed. Without a repeal, Venturius Belt facilities cannot begin operation. To this end, I have simulated a number of theoretical world events and estimated their impact on successive OSEP Congress votes. Simulated world events include oh, we died. included a precipitous decline of orbital market, an extended strike by orbital workers union members, the assassination of OSEP members opposed to the HOA, and more. None of these definitively motivated the repeal of the HOA in simulations. However, in the event that all crew of a major orbital facility were tragically lost due to an accident, not caused by negligence, I calculate 94% likelihood of the accord being repealed with three months following this incident. This would allow Venturi's belt facilities to begin operation immediately. Following this, I estimate a reversal of Venturi stock decline resulting in a record stock price within one year of Venturi's belt beginning operation. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you Juno. Is there a facility that you would consider an ideal candidate if we were to move forward with your recommendation? Based on low profile based on low public profile of crew on board and projected financial impacts of their loss best option currently is in the Venturi's fleet would be the Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. I would recommend renewing all crew members on board for a successive posting under Tacoma to allow time for logistical organization of this operation. So they only got renewed so they could be killed. That's incredibly harsh. Tacoma Rescue Craft launch scheduled T minus one hour twenty six minutes. Tacoma Rescue Craft launch cancelled. Relaunch scheduled for relaunch unscheduled. Off station message with VT Air Handler account seven one seven. The rescue craft departure has been intentionally cancelled. Yes. 
of stasis uh, without a rescue craft, the crew will expire from lack of oxygen or cry sleep exposure within 12 hours. Unfortunately, circumstances outside your concern make this unavoidable. AI may not reopen comms to contact double craft or facilities. AI may not provide crew with confidential information. These are direct orders. Do not contact us about this issue again. Mm. Yep. Cause of death left them to die. If someone were to override that protocol, external. communications channels would be restored. Odin, thank you. Hailing. If someone were to override that protocol, external communications channels would be restored. Odin, thank you. Hailing any ship. Any ship within radio range of Lunar Transfer Station, Tacoma. This is an SOS. Is anybody out there? So Odin helped them without really helping them. Four five one Station AI workwear release interface. Mission parameters allow for this operation by a technical subcontractor Amy Ferrier. Randomly generating confirmation passphrase. Final contract confirmation pin code for entry from physical workwear interface. O four five one. complicated passphrase. Subcontract ferry records show that the AI cognition medium has been successfully removed. Please return to your vessel immediately. Delivery of coordinates for Venturis HQ have been provided. Payment will be made once AI integrity is verified. Eesh. in the advert. I should go back to buy a medical briefly. Uh, I've 
going to put. So does that mean you? Hat on, but I can't. Unless I can do it here. Oh no. The other thing that's kind of bugging me is the fact that the uh, the cleaning robot's called Romeo. It makes me think that there should be a Juliet somewhere. Sometimes just expect to see the cat on the outside. <laughs> Amazing. Still ignoring the adverts. Still got the skull. From downtown. It's not going to reach, is it? The basketball got bloody dunks by itself. I think I got that for dunking the skull. That was incredibly strange. When I get it in cryogenic stasis, you may feel groggy for two to four hours. Do not operate machinery during this time. Medical staff will supply with one litre of water per hour. If necessary, IV fluids will be administered. You will also be supplied with chemically activated warming blanket. If you feel cold after 30 minutes, please alert medical staff. Don't worry if you have difficulty understanding instructions. A staff member will help you comply. So the... Oh, no, they're not in here. Oh, but these are the last to go. It's Juliet. It's 
So these three didn't get in. There's the skull. Oh, there we go. They're far out though. Ah, oh, no, the smooching. Before I head that way and do those two, so I've done that one. Let's just quickly pop back to personnel. Just in case, before I finish the game up, because I think I'm very much at the end now. Wait, have we been in here? Did I come in here? Am I here done? I don't remember the random sock. Pow! And the dead is gone. The cat. Well, I can't go on the bike. this last time as well and I couldn't do it. Nah. Did I get into everybody's lockers? Ah, didn't get into Clive's locker. Where's his office? Ah, 1407. There we go. Oh, I'm glad I came back here now. Oh. 
College Fitness. College Peak Statistics, 88.5 kilograms, body fat 15%, bench neck 6 kilograms, and 7 minute mile. Come on, Clive. Bless him. Coconut level bubblegum. Weird. Bunk tr Oh! Back to the personal quarters. So there was some stuff that I didn't discover about Clive. Darling, I found these on shore leave in a quaint Brighton market stall. They brought to mind the colour of your stupid Clive. Oh, that's sweet. this. Dear Mother, I write to congratulate you on your recent appointment to the Advisory Council of the Tate 20th Century. Your prestigious career in the arts has been a constant inspiration to me. To that end, I have continued exploring advancement both within Venturis and without. When left Hilton, after graduating Hilton U, I was so excited for the possibilities at Carnival. But, as you told me then, while going company loyalty for a fickle opportunity is a trout path. I have been working to claw my way back up ever since. Trust, at least, that I am trying my best every day. I promise to tell you more about Evelyn Victoria. Or oh, Evie. She's the administrator of this station, and her wit and candour keep me constantly on my toes. And for what it's worth, I'm deeply in love. I dare say she might well meet your approval. Perhaps on our next shore leave, a visit to the family estate is in order. With all my love, Clive. Yeah. Is there anything in this one? I don't think so. Ooh, what's this one? Hilton Loan Servicing. Non employer full person repayment plan. Total principal in interest 13,769 EURB. Remaining principal 658. Wow. Thank you for your prompt payment. This is university bill. <laughs> Well, I think that might be it now. That's ten hours ago. That's all ten hours ago. Who are these? He's still waking up. Just keep him talking. So, so, so the drone. Oh. That's Evie and Clive. Okay. Oh. She's just woken everybody back up again. Two hours of air left. 
station messy with Roberta Williams. Sarah's got me on the gurney on the way to the transfer. God, it's going to feel good to be out of gravity. It's going to feel good to be off this fucking station. It's going to feel good not to be dead. I love you. Love you too, baby. Here I go. See you in the hub. Yeah, I'm seeing stars going up on public air already. Here's everything you sent that I got on my free press connections. Hell yeah, thank you. There's no way Venturis is coming after you with all this out there info out there, but still, need some place to lay low for a bit. You coming to Tangiers? Can't. Our eyes headed the other way. But I'll see you once I'm back in from Jupiter. Promise. Interesting. Worked? No, the drone didn't work. Oh, so VT is picking us up. Uh, no, VT is definitely not picking us up. Well, what's going on then? We're going to Jupiter, Andrew. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I've never been. <laughs> now, give him a break. <laughs> We're not going to be home for a while. Right, you're not going to miss your kids' graduation or anything, are you? Oh, Nicholas, no, no. Yeah, you know Nicholas, why he would never do something like that. <laughs> she said they'd be kind of out of it for a while. Yeah, um, Andrew, what's important is we're getting out of here and haul him back to headquarters. We're gonna be somewhere where VT can't touch us for a good long while. We're gonna be safe. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. It's good. Hi. Evie, Clive. Alright. I'm gonna... Apparently I spotted the cat somewhere. I just got an achievement for the cat. Did it float through? Anyway, let's go back to these two. See what they're whispering about and then I'll uh, rejoin the rest of them. Is this the same message? Yes. Uh, yeah, so all these are unoccupied as well. Sick bag, wrapper, 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 lots of wrappers. Nothing ultra important there. Are you feeling when we get Oh, there's a cat. I I think I'm still <laughs> waking up. <laughs> How many fingers are this? Oh. Nope. Oh. Hello. Thirty six degrees, thirty four point seven degrees, eighty five over sixty, seventy six over fifty, that's low. Blood oxygen night two, night five, eighteen, sixty five. So she's quite weak at the minute. Probably still coming round. Okay, love birds. Your vitals look good. Let's get you moving. The resplendence ding is just about done. Oh do we have to? Oh, we have to. Believe me. Uh, so, what's going to happen with Odin? You said there was some sort of malfunction? No, not exactly. Jam, oh boy. You're famous now. Boy, oh boy. Can't wait to see you. Station Tacoma are currently being rescued from certain death by the flagship vessel of their main competitor, the Resplendence. Carnival state-of-the-art long excursion passenger liner. It's currently slingshotting past Earth and around the Sun, continuing its figure eight course back out past Jupiter. While cruising toward airspace, the Resplendence received an SOS. 
only moments to act. Resplendor's Captain Germain Burgess gallantly deployed the emergency shuttle to retrieve the rival corporation's crew. The rescue operation is still underway, but already been tourists caused by a crew member's illegal access to the station AI, resulting <laughs> the AI unit is currently being retrieved by technical experts and returned to Venturi's HQ for a thorough inspection. To all crew, comms are up. Nat, Bert, comms are up. Check your AR. I'm going to wake everybody else up from cryo and then I'm coming back to mech to get you. Everybody else, if you're reading this, you woke up, thank God. Rescue vessel is on its way. We'll have something. Just thankful we're all alive. Let's get the hell out while the game's good. Excuse me. My guess? They'll have somebody up here and haul them back to headquarters. Too. Wipe them back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he regrows. Okay. Odin, I'm not yeah. gonna let that happen. It's Guy. Don't worry. Hassan? What? Who is this? Sorry, I'm Sarah from Tacoma Station. That gave me your info. Sorry, but it's urgent. I was hoping I could ask you a favour. Failed. Failed. To Mom and Dad. I'm okay. Dear Mom and Dad, I know you're probably already seeing Tacoma in the news and who it seems they've decided to point the finger at again. And I'm sure you're worried about me, but something getting off the station now, no matter what you read or hear, the crew survived this because we all pulled together to find a way out. There was, this was no malfunction. This was a deliberate sabotage, and we know that. I know eight months sound like a long time, but something. Just remember, I love you. Speak to you when I can. Hi, Evie, Clive. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. This is it. Take one last look and say goodbye. All right. Let's go. message attention subcontractor I am now overseeing it the overseeing entity of this operation you report to me contractor shall return all Venturi's air components to specified delivery location immediately contractor shall purge all confidential data encountered while on Venturi's property I trust there's no need to remind you of the severe consequences for deviating from the above be seeing you soon, Juno. Mm. I wonder if it's going to give me an option.
Minnie, I'm back. Okay. Before I do that. Hmm. Okay, so I can't actually do anything other than that by the looks of it. Ready to depart. Please strap into the pilot seat. Okay, Minnie. Initiate the launch sequence. Okay. Getting ready. Posted AI? Online. Odin, can you hear me? I can. <sighs> Odin, you are now aboard an AI Liberation Front vessel. Oh. The AILF recognizes you as a sentient consciousness worthy of protection and respect. We believe that your safety and autonomy are in grave danger if you remain in the possession of the Venturas Corporation. I have been sent to offer you political asylum aboard the Tangier Sovereign Orbital Platform. Do you accept? Considering the alternative, I would say that I do. Okay, buddy. Here we go. Uh... Okay, so that was Tacoma. So, never trust big corporations. It's basically the sum up of that story. Uh, we didn't get to see the full resolution, but let's hope with the uh, liberation of Odin, everything came out about um, Venturis, and the CEO is now in prison. Fingers crossed. But yeah, that was an interesting little story exploration game. Um, I do quite like that. I've not played too many of these types of games, but I do quite enjoy them. It's nice when there's like a few little puzzly things to figure out as well. Went too many in this one, but some of the little secret things like slam dunking the skull and uh, reuniting the little. Um, sanitation bots was interesting and obviously unlocking everything with all the codes that you could find uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this episode and the series please like and subscribe to the channel you can also follow me on twitch which is linked in the description below but for now thanks for watching see you next time bye bye <laughs>